Hi, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Night Live. I'm having the most audio visible issues right now. I'm not sure what's going on. So for now, until I figure out my stuff, uh, Gina is going to run the show. The good news is she's here to talk about her post on my blog, What to Expect Your First NCL Season. So because this is Thursday Night Live, remember to put your comments in the comments or your questions in the comment box. And we'll get to them as soon as we can. So uh, make sure to give her all the love that you guys constantly give me. And welcome your newest winner of that new Gina Casenza. Hi, guys. I don't know if you can see me. Oh, Ellen see? says that was a great blog, and I totally Thank second you. that. So, Gina, why don't you tell them a little bit about what to expect your first end sales season? Sure. So, the biggest thing, just like expect to learn and expect to have fun. Those are like my top two. I know that they weren't in that order in the blog, but those are my top two. Expect to learn, expect to have fun, because learn with every single step in that. Like, if you're having fun, you're going to learn. Like, that's my biggest thing. If you're not having fun and you're not enjoying it, you're not going to want to learn. Like, who wants to learn if they're not enjoying it? We've all been there. School sucks if you don't, if you're not enjoying it. So, like, biggest thing for me. Um, like, you're going to learn during practices. You're going to learn when you're training. But, like, when you're in the games, just, like, focus on the content, like, just search. Like I did all of my learning in Google search. Are you okay, Kate? I think I figured it out. Oh, I can hear you better. Hooray! Hi, everybody! <laughs> so back to what Gina was saying, because it was important stuff. Um, yeah, so during the games, just like I said, too, like you're going to get stuck, and that's when you're going to learn the most. Like, it's just, it's like the best learning, being able to You also have to realize for me, everything I learned, I learned either during practice or during the game. I wasn't a cybersecurity major. It wasn't what my track was at school. I started in nursing. I went to computer science. And then I met Kate, and here we are. But everything I learned was kind of just touch and go, learn as I go, and that was kind of it. So definitely like the best thing to do, just be completely open to learning at every step of the process. Um, what would you say happened your first season that most players would not be prepared for? What was the end of that question? Your audio is a little. What would you say you experienced your first season that other players playing for the first time might not expect. Oh, let's see. What wouldn't you expect? So I genuinely didn't expect to learn so much during the game. Like I had no idea how much you miss just in training. Cause like the stuff that we learned from, is not necessarily the same thing that's in the games? So really just like Google's your best friend during the games, honestly. Like I would, I would be nowhere without Google. Let's be honest. I think we're all in the same boat. So, just so for players who've never played in the NCL games, if you're considering uh, joining for the first time, do you know what is the NCL season breakdown? Can you tell us uh, what to expect as far as the season timeline? Yeah, so when you start, so let's say your semester starts in August, gymnasium opens in October. So you kind of have from the beginning of your semester until October to like train on your own, which is what we did at our school at Pace. So, you know, we kind of had our practices. We learned on our own from like. What do you do for practice? How do you organize your practice? What's the important stuff to cover? So the way we organized our practice, we started with what open source, and then we kind of just went through the list. So we would have two practices a week, both two hour practices, started with open source. And this goes for like every week, we start with one topic on the first day, 
we go through it, we practice challenges. Next practice, we do a recap for whoever couldn't make practice, anything like that. And then we moved on to the next topic. And that went for every single practice. We always recapped the previous practice. And that was like the best thing because, you know, you're, you're in a different schedule. The practice schedule is not going to work for everybody. So we would always recap the previous practice. And then when what, it came time for the gym to open. Uh, what resources are available during that time? Shameless self promotion. Mostly, mostly Kate's vlog, let's be real. There aren't really resources because Cyber Skyline doesn't want the content pu publicly posted. So what you can do before the gym opens, before you can see the challenges, Kate has some practice challenges on her blog. I can't remember the heading of that piece of your blog off the top of my head. Um, but we'll, we'll post it in the comments. On um, but the other good news is the series we're releasing. That's what I wanted you to talk about. Sorry. The Pro Tips Tuesdays and why we're on Thursday Night Live every week from yeah. now through like God knows when. I think till like the end of November. This is going to be fun, guys. This is going to be a really fun few months. So, yeah. Technically, the first Pro Tip Tuesday was my blog from the other day. So, that's why we're here. We're talking about your Pro Tip blog every single Tuesday from Kate, from me, from the other player ambassadors. I think next week John's going to be posting a blog about virtual machines. So, that'll be exciting. So, John's blog is called um, Building Your Virtual Playground, uh, Setting Up VM for the NPL Games. So, next week he'll be on the show to talk about that, but all of the instructions will be in the blog, uh, so you should be able to just follow that. Um, I think we have newsletters coming out with the information to remind you every Tuesday that the tips are out, and then we'll hold these live coaching sessions where we answer your questions um, as best we're able. Uh, obviously, this is a no spoilers, so we'll give methodologies but not answers, um, and we hope that you'll do the same in the comments. So we like to think of this Thursday Night Live as our live coaching session. Um, what else do we have coming out? What other topics are there? You put them into our little task manager. Yeah, I mean, I think I actually have that open on the side here. Let's take a look. So we have the next one's VMs. After that, we have open source. And then CryptoKate's CryptoCamp. You can take a wild guess at what that's about. I can't imagine. And then blog analysis, password cracking. We're really going through every single topic week by week so that by the time the games roll around, you've learned about every single topic. And then towards the end, once we've gone through all the topics, we're going to talk about the other fun stuff like running recaps and how to pick your teams for um, postseason. So actually, they don't call it postseason. It's just the team game now. I've been here too long. Um, so yeah, the, for returning players who might not have played last season, uh, what are the big changes in the, the verbiage that you'll see here? And make sure that you let new players know what they're called now, in case they might not. Yeah, so this is going to be a fun couple months of just teaching you guys everything you need to know. So I see a comment here. Which one do you want me to know? I'm looking at... Well, I saw this one, and I want to... I this really quick. Um, you have people who do this to lay out a full time job or students. It is 100% students. NCL is a, it's a collegiate offensive and defensive security competition. So it's designed for college students, but it's open to high schoolers. I think they have to be like 14 or 15 feet. Um, but we have opened it up to high schoolers who are in cybersecurity programs. And then I There's see another comment. Another comment. This one? Um, Why don't you see this one? Since it's on the screen. Uh, I'm not seeing your comment changing up there, Kate. I don't know which. Uh, I'm well, that's. Hold on. <laughs> I'm reading Aaron's comment. He said he's super new to this. He's teaching high school, and he asks how many people he needs to form a group, and does it cost money? So yes, it costs thirty five dollars for the whole season if you register on time. If you don't, it's ten dollars per player, um, and I think as long as you have like, as, as long as you have like two people, I like think you, you don't even, I think it's one. Yeah, you don't even need like a big group. 
If you have one student that wants to play, that's fine too. So there's really no limit to that. And you can have as many players as you want. Just keep in mind that during the team games, you can only have up to seven on a team. So if you have, let's say you have like 10 players, you're going to have to split them. And we will have tips on that coming in the future. So look out for those. Um, thanks, Lauren. I know my audio stinks. I'm having all kinds of technical issues tonight. Lightning and thunder is pandemonium in my house. Um, hopefully, Jennifer's comment is now showing. Will these videos be recorded so my group can watch them together later? Absolutely. Yes. Uh, I think it like live records and then auto posts to Facebook. Does. Some kind of magic. And then Ellen asks, what if I'm a student by myself with no coach? That's fine. We didn't technically have a coach at our school. Like, we were the coaches. I was a student coach. So I sort of built the program um, at different schools as a student coach. I, I really brought them to the ground up. So one of the uh, blogs that we're going to be releasing probably after this season, um, so it's not super helpful right now, but we're working on it, is um, – how to build a program from the ground up. But in the meantime, I know that John McGill, one of our other player ambassadors, is looking to post some content very soon. He's on vacation at the moment in the last Delta Glaciers. Very jealous. Um, but when he gets back, he just did a talk at the Community College Cyber School. It's called 3CS. I'm not positive what the abbreviation is for, but I believe it's Community College Cyber Summit. The talk was on um, building cyber uh, clubs from the ground up, and he uses NCL as a tool to build them up, so he'll sort of talk about practice and things like that. Um, but if there are no other resources available to you um, on my blog, I'm going to make it more prevalent, uh, but it's called Crypto Coaching Guide. That's what got me recognized by NCL. That's how I became a player ambassador. Um, and it basically walks through everything you need to know to start your first season. It doesn't necessarily teach you to win, but it teaches you to get started. Um, Aaron had a question about the price of audio issues. I'm going to let you try to definitely, I know my mic is not working well. Can you see it? I can't see, like, your comments aren't changing. We're having some, we're having some trouble today. But we I are. Did the answer, oh, let's see, just to clarify, it's 35 for the year and temper student. No. It's $35 per student. If you register late, it's $45 per student. That's why I said $10 before. It's an extra $10 per student. So it used to be $25 for like preseason and the individual game, and then $10 for the um, team game. Now they just kind of lumped it all into one, so you don't have to worry about registering twice. I really love that because a lot of players who wouldn't necessarily continue on and play the postseason game do, and they need to collaborate with others. It tells a lot of players who are too shy to form a team to now sort of be forced to form a team or compete by themselves, but it still gives them that extra content. So I really love that. But a lot more people are looking for teams now. So um, Cyber Skyline. The organization that builds the games has a Slack channel that you can find once you're registered and stuff. I know I need to buy a mic and headset. I swear that's on my Amazon cart right now. I'm trying to get it. I gotta finish picking one. I apologize. I have a nice camera and it said it had a nice mic, but it was full of lies. Um, it worked so fine this week. <laughs> we're struggling, guys. Um, also, my internet connection is having a heart attack tonight. So that's not helping the situation. Um, I lost my toy. There was a question I was answering. Oh, no. oh, oh why yeah. is all registration together? Um, in the Cyber Skyline Slack channel, there are multiple channels on multiple topics. And there's an Ask Kate channel or an Ask Crypto Kate or something of the like. Talk to me. Hi. Um, and I help people find Ask Kate. Me. So all the people who were going to have to continue the game solo, they posted, we paired them up with a bunch of people, and 
Um, John was actually on one of the teams that I caught the together. He killed it. I'm sorry for the other guys. I'll just stop talking to let you to run the show. Also, I definitely make use of the channel. I did not know that the Slack channel existed until like way into my second season. Thank you, Kate. <laughs> If you if you don't pay attention too much to the day um, during the games, you won't see the very 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 top in very small writing. There is a link. I'm gonna grab it for you right now because I see Jennifer asking about the Slack channel. So I'm gonna just quickly grab it because I have it right here. Give me two seconds because I'm probably gonna have to log into my Cyber Skyline to get it. Once you're registered for the games, um, in the game platform, there's links at the top. It'll say, like, to join the community, click here, join the Slack or something. So once you register, it's really easy to find. Um, if you haven't registered, I don't know that you'll have access to it. Um, Gina, do you have the season dates? Not off the top of my head. I know that they were in... Whichever email went out most recently from NCL, I know they're in there. Let me hold on. Pull them up. Go to nationalcyberleague.org. Exactly where they are. Give me one second. As you can tell, we prepared. The We're so prepared. Okay, the gym opens on October eighth. So that's technically like when it starts, and then the preseason game is October fourteenth to the twenty-first. The individual game is November 1st to the 13th. Did they make it longer? That might be a typo. That How long is a typo? That doesn't sound right. I think that's supposed to say the 11th to the 13th. Um, so maybe if you looked at that in the email, ignore it because that is different. Not right. Uh, How long is it? Um, I have no sound. I don't know. The, the email that NCL sent out today. The uh, the individual are the first over a week long. That's actually almost two weeks. The individual game is only like two and a half days. Uh, no. So. So they might have made it longer. Well, no, 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 the, indiv the individual game is uh, showing that long. Maybe they're doing it. I don't know. Best place to check. <laughs> NationalCyberLeague.org. Yeah. I'll check it. Um, people were asking for the coaching guide. Uh, I'm trying to pull it up as quick as I can. I should make it shortly, but I haven't. So I have to look at the whole thing. Um, on my blog, which I can give you the link to, just so we can get people started, um, it's www.wordpress.com, and it's under workshops. It's under the Cyber Champ. Uh, see if I can get that pulled up. I'm just going to answer a few question while, questions while uh, Kate's getting settled there. I can't put them up on the screen because I don't have access to them. I'll put them on the screen. Go. Um, so Joe asks, is there a predetermined study schedule with included content for students to study? So the content you can find on, some of the content you can find on Kate's blog, there is no predetermined study schedule, but we did make one for when I was coaching and we're going to try to kind of clean that up and hopefully get that out to you guys as soon as we can. So you will kind of have somewhat of a guide to kind of organize yourselves and organize your team practices. Definitely a good idea to start doing. Um, Lauren says she can't join the Slack without permission. Pretty much. Um, I think you do need to be registered. So I think if you've played a game before, you can get in, I think. We'll have to ask Cyber Skyline. Um, Jennifer asks, can different kids work together but in different locations? How would you recommend it to work? 
So you can work together in different locations. So during our team season or team game, at least for my last one, for my last two, actually, the two that I coached for, our team kind of, we just weren't on the same schedule and we all kind of ended up just working from our own spaces. And so what my team did was we got on Twitch, not Twitch, what am I talking about? What's the other thing? Discord, we got on Discord because that was kind of the easiest way for us to communicate because there is a built-in like audio chat on there. So one of the people on my team, because it was mostly just the two of us working together, we did an audio chat for a bit and tried to work out some some stuff on that. And also just like texting. I mean, really any way that works for you, like do that. You don't need to go by everything that we say. Any way that works for you and your team and what you guys can access, like that's the best way to do it. Okay, so good news. Uh, the link to my workshop Inclusion and Coaching Guide has been posted in the comments. Sorry that took so long. Um, I need to make a bitly for that. I promise I will. Um, also, students can only work together during the team competition and during training. Um, the preseason and individual games are for individuals, so there should be no collaboration at that time, just so that part is clear. Yes. And it's a very Guys, like, not Zoom could work too. Whatever you guys want to do, we use Kate and I use Zoom at work. It works pretty well. Um, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we had some problems today with Zoom. I had audio problems with Zoom today. Too. Maybe it's still fine. those weren't audio problems, Kate. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Zoom works. Anything that you guys use, like if you if it works for you, it works for you. For us, Discord worked. So, Gina, um, do you want to describe sort of um, what kind of content is in the coding guide, or do you want me to do it? I talk about it a lot. You do talk about your coaching guide a lot. I did help with it. You did. Um, you you still might be better equipped to talk about it, though. Um, so, this coaching guide is going through revisions right now, so you got to give us uh, this season. That's why we're releasing um, one blog a week, and that's update to this coaching guide. We are working to make it um, more present on my website, easier to access, things like that. Um, it got a lot bigger than I intended it. But here we are. So it has sort of the first step to get you started in a lot of different challenge categories. It's got practice challenges in those categories and it's sort of walk you through how I coached other players when I was coaching every season. So it's a good place to start. And if you're playing and you're trying to learn, it tells you how I coach it. So you would be getting coached through the document. And that's something that we're trying to do. And that's why we're trying to also have these Thursday Night Live uh, in response to every release of the version two of the coaching guide so that you guys can ask us questions and we can improve it over time. Um, and like I said, we're building a big repository of this information on my website, but in progress, we're working on it. We just got you know, a whole team of player ambassadors to help me. So hopefully you'll see content, a lot of content from us very soon. Any questions, let's look through these comments. I'm trying to um, Matthew Barr says that Discord is awesome. Sorry, I can't click yeah. up here. Everybody's, uh, everybody's loving Discord. Discord. Um, there was another, I think there was a question. Is there a basic page to view first and share with students so we can check it out? Does each student need to do it individually or can I collect funds and register for them? That uh, second half of that question, that uh, collecting funds and registering for them. Definitely can do that. We would do batch registrations for us. Our school paid for it. We had the budget to have that. So definitely like something you can look into with your school. And yeah, um, I don't know that there's a basic page to view first, like before you register. I don't think that exists, 
before my you guys, no content existed before you registered for the game. Um, so that yeah. was that I. I so think that, you know how, like, when you see the dashboard when you log in, so you can kind of see that? I think that's what they might be asking. Um, there is a demo once you sign up. I don't think, I don't know exactly how it works. Yeah, that's it. You can sign up for Cyber Skyline without registering for the game. So. But you won't necessarily see any National Cyber League content until you register yeah. Exactly, because you haven't played any previous games. So, so there's you can anything that you create at. your account for the games without registering for the season. Yeah. Um, I think that's all the Do you guys have any more questions, comments, concerns? Did I see, anybody I didn't notice more here. that I changed the color of the little scroll card? I didn't mean to, but I did. Um, I did see one more comment from Lauren. She asked, how do you get on the email list? I want to say that there's this, like, subscription thing on National Cyber League's website. If not, um, on Crypto Pay, under the NPO player, I was there. Um, sometime in the next week or two, we're putting up a subscription list where we're going to um, – make it so you can subscribe to receive the updates each season so you'll get our our coaching schedule that will release every tuesday every season it's in progress though, so give us like a week yes <laughs> we're still working at a in progress <laughs> all of our player ambassadors are scattered across the world on vacation i think except for me yeah <laughs> i mean me too um, where's she? Is she in like France or someplace super awesome? Switzerland? Maybe? Switzerland, I want to say. Somewhere not in the US. And then John is in Alaska. And then we're here. Hi guys. <laughs> um, so when they get back, uh, it's going to take us about a week to get up to speed. And then we're going to hit the ground rolling. So by the time our blog will open source intel comes out, you should see just massive updates from us. So you can watch the National Cyber League Facebook. You can follow the National Cyber League on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter, at CryptoGate. I mean, I don't think I even have an app. Um, you can follow Dina at NCL Dina. You can follow John at blue underscore level underscore two. Follow me at NCL Yes, right. that's right. Yes. <laughs> um, we got a couple questions here. Kate. This is asking. Oh, cool. This is asking. Um, what is the NCL Player Ambassador Board? So we just announced it last Monday. Super exciting. I'm on the board. We announced um, it last Monday. Didn't we? I don't know. It was super recent. <laughs> super stressful. Um, yeah. So So I might be calling it a committee instead of a board because a board sounds kind of boring. But again, we just established it. So we're gonna have an army of people who are gonna help me do what I do. So my basic role with the National Cyber League um the last three years is to talk to players, be sort of the face of what players look like because I just came up and found my talent for games. Um I like for the players if I feel like there's something that NCL can be doing to help players like I am on their back about it. Um the the current commissioner of NCL Dan Manson adores me. He knows when he gets phone calls from me that I'm just like man I have this important idea I gotta do it and he just says go for it. Um, and that's sort of how I became the NCL player ambassador as well. I contacted NCL, like, overarching board. Also, I played with the top board. We have too many boards. There's one NCL board and an NCL player ambassador. But, um, I contacted NCL and I said, I need to do a workshop for this. And I want to teach players why there's no reason in the world why they should. 
National Cyber League game. It's the best game for first-time competitors. I don't show them all the way if it's not scary. And that's kind of everything my position has developed from, is I'm going to teach people how to play the game. I'm going to get them started. And they have nothing to be afraid of, and there's no reason not to do it, and it's the best part of the game. And I do a lot. But I can't keep up with how much our 5,000 players need. So now I'm going to bring on an army of volunteers who help me do what I do on a larger scale and help more people. So we are going to have uh, a On my blog, you can see a player master for change to player master. I'm not sure what it says. It's a graphic fit. You know what? I came up with the term committee like two days ago. True. Um, but what's great about the committee is that I didn't write a job description because at the end of the day, every player in that group has something you need to bring to the table, and you're going to bring whatever you want and whatever you love and whatever helps you fit. So, Gina, why did you want to be a player in basketball? I just really wanted to make sure that, like, this community is, like, kind of sticking together. When I was, you know, just a player and a coach, like, we didn't, you don't really hear from, like, the other teams. You don't hear from the other players. There's not, like, a ton of communication there. So I think to be able to do, you know, here, be able to kind of have a voice in it, I think that's so important. If Kate's the only voice, like, how much can Kate do? So, you know, to have a team of people saying, this is what we want, way more such a bigger impact so yeah um and it's also great to have more people for you guys to reach out to i can't keep up with my dms during the games i like everybody gets up with me on twitter honestly it's a lot and i try my best but we just reached a point where there's so many players and there's only one of me so our our player ambassador is going to be a group of people who are as passionate as I are here to help make things better. Um, Lauren has an awesome question. Going to train at the gym is such a good idea. Um, that, I think, is Cyber Skyline. Or maybe uh, yeah, probably. That, that sounds like a Cyber Skyline thing to say. Um, um, Cyber Skyline is a company that creates the games, and they are hilarious and wonderful and dirty, <laughs> and you'll love their content and their jokes. Um, Jennifer, oh, I just yes. I am not even showing off my NCL superhero team. Um, this is one of the shirts that I was like, guys, why aren't we using the logo as like a superhero? Um, uh, and now it is. I have so to be I honest with you. I just realized, I think last week, that in the thing, it's two people's faces. I genuinely did not realize until a week ago. And I, was I don't a- want to wait to it. <laughs> um, so Jennifer asks if um, the players need Twitter. You don't. NCL posts a lot on Twitter, but they post the same stuff on Facebook. And Facebook Live. If they have Facebook, they're, they're set. Um, um, honestly, you can also about their newsletters, or if there's, um, if you're looking for practice materials, that's not even on Twitter. That's on my blog. I put up a little link. Um, honestly, my blog is covered in NCL content, so yeah. that's not even the right link. Sorry, guys. That one. Um, See, other people didn't know that it was faces either. Ellen just said I was today years old when I saw that. I'm yeah. not crazy. <laughs> um, said, are there bonus points for teams to create a team logo? I mean, there's yeah. bonus points in my heart. Yes. That <laughs> Absolutely. Bonus points in our hearts. But you get points. I don't but think you get no like points. points in the game. <laughs> because points only come from flags. I don't think we have any design flags. But send them to me and I will share them out there. I will brag about you on social media and for love it. We totally have I, a little competition for whoever can create the best team logo. I mean, That's all I'm saying. Player, that's budget but maybe we'll, we'll run a team logo competition um i know one of the things we're thinking about doing is having a team um 
video competition where you submit a video about your team's XPL experience and we'll put them all out there on social media. And I don't know if we're doing a random drawing or most likes, shares, retweets, things like that. Again, it's not finalized, but uh, that's something that we are uh, talking about and thinking about doing. <laughs> Hi guys, I know my sound sucks. I'm sorry. I almost didn't have video or sound. So Chappie is better than yeah, nothing. She she got the up and running about two minutes before the show. So we got this and we're happy. <laughs> sorry guys. Um we are looking into other tools to do the show because right now what we use doesn't like me. Yeah. It's not the best. Um, if you were on Tuesday night uh, Facebook Live show, I was like in the comments because I couldn't join the show. <laughs> it, I, it I'm ready. I'm ready for a change. Yeah. Thank you to people who just gave me laughing faces. I appreciate that you guys laugh at my jokes because I know they're not all funny. Um, so, just to use the little tools while they hopefully work. Um, the website for the National Cyber League, which you can all be is nationalcyberleague.org. Go to the, I forgot how to navigate the website. One second. Uh, the <laughs> fall season, and you click on that, um, it will take you to everything you need to know about it. So it'll tell you the schedule, it'll tell you um, how to register and all kinds of good stuff like that. We are in the fall, the fall season. Pretty easy to remember. I mean, not quite fall yet, but fall semester of school. Um, the competition does try oh, to guys. find what? You're a little lagging, Kate. I know I missed the last sentence you said. <laughs> Lauren, honestly. <laughs> it's genuinely that this broadcasting service hates me. I never had a problem until all of a sudden I said I wanted to do something else. And now it is like it I don't know. I have a Google home. Like I know Google's listening to me. Google probably like let them know I'm talking trash. <laughs> And now it won't let me work. It hears you. At least it hears me now. I'm sorry, guys. You know, we're you know, we're towards the end, but had to work eventually. Yeah. Maybe your internet's finally working properly. The storm is also passing. There was a storm? It's not even raining here. There I mean, I know the blind is on, but it is like lightning, like it's clear. Very, up. very frightening. <laughs> um, I need to update these things to include the rest of you guys because I'm not the only one answering these questions anymore. It's gonna be great. But I do have like a preset template of little flashy cards. I just recently <laughs> added this one, which I'm pretty stoked about. And the only reason I had this one is because you've been on the show before. <laughs> But I don't have anything for the other player I've asked for yet. Also, we'll get there. Lauren agrees. The Google heard me. Also, who hears all? Yeah, especially in my house. Like, I'm in a studio and I have like three or four Googles. It's definitely listening. Is this even a question now? It's definitely listening. Yeah. But Thursday night live. Yay. Oh, cute birthday. <laughs> Um, if there's any more questions, we're, we're here for a couple more minutes. If not, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. Um, like I said, there will be a broadcast uh, every Thursday for several weeks. Right now, I think the first Thursday that we're rescheduling is Halloween. Yeah, nobody <laughs> wants to be coming on this show in their Halloween costumes. I'm sorry. I mean, that would be pretty. I mean. Last year, both me cool. and Tina were bugged in the code. It was really cute. I have wait. Me. Me. 
I don't know who's Bill. still. <laughs> Gina, were you stuck or am I stuck? No, okay. Gina disappeared. Huh. Out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. That was weird. See, it's not just it, sometimes. It, it's it's amazing. It knows it about it now. Um, so last year, I was a bug in the code, and so was Zena, and I was excited because I had wings. It was really cute. I thought about being a wire shark and wrapping myself in Ethernet cables and wearing a little shark fan on my head. <laughs> I oh. also thought about wearing a cap with a P on it, and then I'd be a P cap. Wow. Yeah. Kate's corner. I crowdsource terrible IT fun. And thought about doing all of them. So I was a teacher last year, and I was like, this is my year. This is my year to be the most embarrassing. And I can be, and all of my kids rolled their eyes so hard. I was teaching a class of all boys, and I wore so much glitter. Oh no, we lost Gina again. Gina's back. <laughs> Thank you for everybody who loves my time. Honestly, you people are why I do what I do. <laughs> Oh no. Yeah. Honestly, I love how the end of these shows sort of descend into madness. And this time it's not even our fault. Like, Be Live is just. Be Live is really hating us today. Because I talk trash. I feel like it knows. Yeah. Life cycle. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, wait, I'll share with everyone. Uh, Jennifer said that they dress as a life cycle. I cover pages for contracts, and a document, and documents, and user guides. That's amazing. <laughs> I wish I remembered more of the ideas that people had. Um, I just remember the ones that it like came down to that I felt like I could execute. <laughs> All right. Last call for questions. I'll use the little fancy card. Don't think it worked. <laughs> I pressed the button. Okay. It, it popped up for a second and then it disappeared. I don't know. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> this show brought to you by software that doesn't work consistently. <laughs> More funny costumes. I'm okay, no, that is boring. very fun. That's amazing. <laughs> no, Mark, you know so no, how much yeah. my cat. It's great. <laughs> okay, well, like I said, um, my name is King or Crypto King. I'm the NCLP player ambassador. This is Gina. Gina started a new Twitter. So yes. I'm determined to get her the most followers ever for somebody who just joined Twitter. Um, I think I'm up to 21. Even if you don't follow Crypto Kate or Privacy Pupper, who literally is only on Twitter to make terrible puns and then make fun of me. Yes. You should at least follow me. I don't know if I can make a card that everybody Maybe you can do one all at once. Are you just making banners on the spot, are you? I'm, I'm <laughs> making new banners right now. <laughs> I don't even know if it's going to work. I haven't been able to take this long. All right, let's see. Show next who's making terrible puns. It's Kate's dog making terrible puns. And when I say Kate's dog, I mean Kate because obviously other people help. It's mostly you. <laughs> Hold on, we'll, we'll grab cover for your viewing pleasure. 
Yes, grab the cover. Oh, wait, getting past That's the cover. Even better. Oh, you don't even need to get up. Pupper is being handed off. Hi, Zena. Oh, don't run away. It's okay. Hi. It's like, nope, no camera shy today. <laughs> I appreciate it. Everyone here for you. Honestly, there was a period where she had more followers than me. She currently has more followers than both of my Twitter accounts. <laughs> How many does she have? How many does she have? I don't know off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it's more than me. <laughs> She's like a little bit. Just a just a drop. She also hates webcam, so apologies. I brought her for as long as she will <laughs> tolerate it. She was named after the warrior princess. Um, she <laughs> a German Shepherd, like Corgi, Shih Tzu Terrier, I think. I don't know, but she's very small, 25 pounds. Um, and we wanted to give her like a, you know, cute butt name. <laughs> very small. Um, she fit in my hand when we first got her. We were gonna name her uh, Diana after Wonder Woman, but um, one of our friends' mom's name is Diana. And I took her over to her house a lot, and I was like, "Oh, can you imagine? That'd be weird." Um, we were gonna name her Kara after Supergirl, but we figured Kara and me were too close together. Um, we thought about Athena, the goddess of wisdom. That would have been a good name. I know, but she didn't like it. <laughs> she didn't like it. She had an opinion. Did I spell username right? Whose username? B. I'll wait for it to come up across the thing again. <laughs> NCL underscore web witch. Oh, let's see. It should be. Yeah, that's right. Um, like I said, these are our current player ambassadors. Um, these are the people that I think with no small amount of bias. Um, I've known them all for pretty much my entire, well, I've known Gina and John for pretty much my entire tenure as player ambassador. Um, and I met B at Weasis last year. B actually came in second place at the Weasis um, NPLCTS. It was great about that, is that hopefully we will be back again this year. Um, she actually won free registration for this year's games for her and a couple of things. I forget how many. Um, and she won registration for this upcoming thesis and other stuff, but I forget all those parts. Um, he is actually one of our top performing players, and John, they're, they're both killing it. Um, I think my highest rank was, I have no idea, top 100, but I don't know if I've ever made top 50. Um, John has made top 50. B has been one of the top female players overall. I think she was like the top 10 female players, which is crazy. Um, yeah, so she's it's a really pretty high impact leaderboard. Uh, like I said, we are accepting more applications. We want to build a really big, diverse team so that we've got enough players, our player ambassadors, to help all of the players with everything that we can. Um, it's it's no small feat, <laughs> but if we get an army of people, it won't be so much work for any one individual. Um, and you're going to be seeing a lot more co-hosted shows. I know a lot of times I'll come on solo and Dan will do all the interviews, but uh, see my face a lot. See the other player ambassadors a lot. We're here to help you. If you have questions, reach out to us. Um, Twitter's the best way to have with a lot of us. Yeah, I'm always looking at Twitter. So, um, If you reach out on Facebook, you'll reach pretty much NCL directly. So if you have questions for 
the National Cyber League. You can reach them on Twitter. It's at National Cyber League. Um, if you reach out on Facebook, you're almost guaranteed to reach the National Cyber League. And there's also the email um, info at National Cyber League. I don't have anything else. You know, any other expectations for your first season? I think Gene is going to have a again. <laughs> Yay, internet. Um, if that's all, we really appreciate you guys coming on the show live with us. We, we do what we do because we love talking to you. We love hanging out with you. We love that you spend your Thursday night with us. Um, we love that you're reading our content on Tuesday and it's going really to oh. only get better. Um, I'm just going to do this for a minute. And uh, we look forward to hanging out with you guys every Thursday. We're trying to set this up where I'm we here. are here. Um, okay, we're guys. Here. Thank you so much for getting back on here. But, yeah. If you want to be on the player ambassador committee, head to Kate's blog. There's a little thing on the top uh, end of that uh, top on there, and there's a form. Yeah, I think that's it. I have no capabilities to end this live show. Uh, hmm. Bye, guys. This is interesting.